real numbers. A collection of rational and irrational numbers make up the set of real number. The set of real numbers is denoted by R, thus every real number is either a rational or an irrational number. A real number can be expressed on the number line, and has some specific properties. Here are some examples of real number. We begin with two very important properties of positive integers, namely, the Euclid's division algorithm, and, the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. As the name suggests, Euclid's division algorithm has to do with divisibility of integers. Any positive integer a, can be divided by another positive integer b, in such a way, that it leaves a remainder r, that is smaller than b. This is the usually long division process. Although this result is quite easy to state and understand, it has many applications related to the divisibility properties of integers. We will learn and use some of them to compute the highest common factor of two positive integers. This theorem has something to do with multiplication of positive integers. Every composite number can be expressed as a product of primes in a unique way. This important fact is the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. We use the fundamental theorem of arithmetic for two main applications. First, to prove the irrationality of many of the numbers, such as root 2, root 3 and root 5. Second, we apply this theorem to explore when exactly the decimal expansion of a rational number, say p by q, where q is not equal to 0, is terminating and when it is non-terminating repeating. In next video we will learn about Euclid's division algorithm in detail. Till then, take care and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe our channel. Thank you.